Okay, now we're trying a question about partial fractions where it links into the binomial theorem and not integration as we've done previously. So, we've got a function, f of x. We're asked to express it in partial fractions for five marks. And then we're going to use the binomial in ascending powers of x up to and including the x cubed term, simplifying each coefficient. And we're going to state the set of values of x for which your expansion is valid. OK, let's do part A. OK, so part A. Oh, this is a standard partial fraction that you should know. 5 subtract 8x all over 1 plus 2x, 1 subtract x all squared. You should know that as A over the first distinct factor plus B over the second factor to the power of 1 plus C over the third factor to the power of 2. Then we're going to uh, make the right-hand side have a uh, common denominator and we're going to equate the numerators and say that 5 subtract 8x is therefore equivalent to a 1 subtract x squared plus b 1 plus 2x 1 subtract x plus c 1 plus 2x. Now we're going to let x equal 1 so that this and this disappear and we would get on this side, negative 3 is identical to 3c. So c is therefore equal to negative 1. Okay, then we would let x equal, let's say, negative a half, so that this and this disappear. Um, uh, 8 times negative a half would be negative 4. 5 subtract negative 4 would be 9. We would get that equal to the following. Uh, we get 1 subtract negative a half, which would be 3 over 1 plus a half, which is 3 over 2 squared, so it would be 9 over 4a, which would tell us, obviously, that a is therefore equal to 4. And lastly, we need to get ourselves uh, b. Easiest thing to do there is let x equal 0. This side would be 5. This side would be a. This side would be b. And this side would be c. Remember, we have a, okay, remember that we have c to be negative 1, so we could use that knowledge there to find um, b, so we would have that 5 is equal to 4 plus b, subtract 1, 4 subtract 1 is 3, take it off both sides, b must therefore equal 2. So therefore our answer to 5 subtract 8x over 1 plus 2x, 1 subtract x, all squared, would be equal to 4 over 1 plus 2x, plus 2 over 1 subtract x, subtract 1 over 1 minus x to the power of 2. And we're done for part A. OK, next part uh, B, let's take a look at part B. And we want to find the series expansion of f of x. Now we know from part a that f of x is equal to the following. Okay, and what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to expand this binomially. We're going to have to expand this binomially. And we're going to have to expand this binomially. And we're going to add together the results. And then we're going to... Uh, collect like terms. So it's very important when doing these questions, you keep your work separate. Let's do this one first. 4, 1 plus 2x to the minus 1. Okay, keep the 4 out of action, big brackets. The binomial theorem, let's remember, says that 1 plus x to the power of n is equal to 1 plus nx plus n, n minus 1 over 2 times 1 uh, x squared plus n, n minus 1, n minus 2, over 3 times 2 times 1, x cubed, and that's for the modulus of x less than 1. Okay, so that's the rule we're using. So uh, in this case, our x is acts like 2x, and our n is negative 1. So we're going to have 1 plus negative 1 multiplied by 2x plus negative 1, negative 2, over 2 times 1, 
2x all squared plus negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 over 3 times 2 times 1, 2x cubed. Now we're going to tidy this up before we move on. This would be 1 subtract 2x. Negative 1 times negative 2 is 2. Over 2 is 1. And so we have just plus 4x squared. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. And here we would have negative 3 uh, over, sorry, negative 6 over 6, which is negative 1. And 2x cubed is 8x cubed. So subtract 8x cubed plus dot dot dot. And let's multiply the 4 in there. We would have 4 subtract 8x plus 16x squared subtract 32x cubed. And we've done the first part. Okay, now we're going to do the next part. I might even do it in a different colour. So we're going to work out 2, 1 subtract x to the minus 1. Keep the 2 in big brackets. And we're going to use the binomial. So 1 plus minus 1 times minus x, plus minus 1 minus 2 over 2 times 1, negative x squared, plus minus 1 times minus 2 times minus 3, over 3 times 2 times 1, negative x cubed. Keep the 2 there for now, so it would be 1 plus x, and this here would go to plus x squared, and this here would go to plus x cubed. And multiplying by 2, I get 2 plus 2x plus 2x squared plus 2x cubed plus dot, dot, dot. So we've done the second part. And lastly, let's do the last one. So we do negative 1 in a different color. Negative 1, 1 subtract x to the minus 2. Keep the negative 1 outside the brackets. And it would be 1 plus negative 2 times negative x, plus negative 2, negative 3, over uh, 2 times 1, over negative x squared, plus negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, all over 3 times 2 times 1, and it'd be negative x cubed. Now, careful tidying up this. Keep the negative 1 there. It would be 1 plus 2x. Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6. Over 2 is 3. Multiplied by, it would be x squared. So it would be plus 3x squared. And these multiplied together would be negative uh, 24 over 6, which would be negative uh, 4 multiplied by negative x cubed. So it would be plus 4x cubed. Then times by the negative 1, it would be negative 1 subtract 2x, subtract 3x squared, subtract 4x cubed. And lastly, we're going to combine them all. So for the answer, I'm going to, the, when I've laid my working out like this, I could call this a, I could call this, in fact, let's use the right colors for it. I call that a, I call that there b, and I call that there c. Okay, so we could write that A plus B plus C. If we add these things together, we've got 4 plus 2 add minus 1, which would be equal to 5. Then we've got negative 8x plus 2x is negative 6x minus a neg another negative 2, so it would be negative 8x. Here we'd have 16x squared plus 2x squared is 18x squared. Take away 3x squared, which would be plus 15x squared. And lastly, we would have negative 32x cubed plus 2, which would be negative 30x cubed. Take away 4x cubed, so it would be negative 34x cubed plus dot, dot, dot. And uh, up to and including the x cubed term, we're done there. Okay, now I should have done something. I, did, I made a slight mistake uh, up here in the sense that when I did this expansion, I had to say that for this to be true, the modulus of 2x had to be less than 1, so therefore the modulus of x has to be less than a half. For this expansion to be valid, the modulus 
of x has to be less than 1. And for this expansion to be valid, the modulus of x has to be less than 1. Okay, so for the last part, for part C here, state the set of values for which the expansion is valid. Well, I need uh, for all of them to be valid at, at the same time. So the modulus of x has to be less, less than half and the modulus of x has to be less than 1. Okay, now which one's the stricter condition? This one is, is here. So therefore, this is the stricter so condition. So therefore, I need the modulus of x to be less than or equal to a half. And that is the answer to this question.